Hi guys, this video is brought to you today by my friend Stephen Chin, aka Weird Eight Productions. Visit his channel with the link in the description to see his short films and his movie and cartoon compilations. Did I just watch the whole movie? Alright, hey guys, Blood Moon Bobby here, and we're checking out the latest trailer for the new live-action Christopher Robin movie. If you guys remember the last time I checked out um, the trailer, a trailer for Christopher Robin, it was the first one to come out. It nearly made me ball my eyes out, and it nearly probably made you start to tear up, and it also scared the shit out of... Of, pe of other people, including Dog Walker, who for other reasons I'll be checking out, I'll be talking about him and the other problems of Channel Awesome in another video. But anyway, we're here to talk about Christopher Robin, the live action movie. I think, you know, the, I, I think you guys know it, but I feel like the reason, you know, the, um, the last trailer for Christopher Robin nearly made us cry or even teared up is because, you know, it's, you know, it's a very relatable, you know, kind of idea where, you know, you're seeing toys, you know, again, after so many years after you grew up. And, you know, in this case, you know, it's putting it in a, a more sort of realistic context in that, you know, yeah, you, you know, live action Christopher Robin played by Ewan McGregor and, you know, the idea that one of his toys you know, is coming to life after all these years. So, um, yeah, I think that's um, why. So, I'm definitely personally looking forward to it, not just because, you know, oh, it nearly made me cry. Like, you know, for me, you know, a good movie doesn't, you know, necessarily make you cry. You know, it still has to be, you know, have a really good plot, which hopefully this has a simple but a plot that's written well and really good characters, which, you know, Winnie the Pooh, you know, I think we could tell from, like, back in the day has never um, um, disappointed in terms of, you know, how likable the characters are. So, yeah, but after further ado, let's get into it. Oh, I do like a party. Come on, Pig. What should happen if you forget about me? Silly old bear. I won't ever forget about you, Pig. I promise. Not even when I'm a hundred. We should be working this weekend, Robin. But I, I promised my wife and daughter I'd take them away this weekend. All hands on deck. You won't be coming to the cottage. Well, it can't be helped. Your life is happening now, right in front of you. What to do, what to do, what to do. What to do, indeed. Who? Christopher Robin. No. The tree I remember was in the countryside, not here in London. There's no opening. I suppose it's where it needs to be. Well, that's a silly explanation. Why, thank you. Who? Why are you here? Oh, yes, I need your help. I've lost all of my friends. Let's get to the bottom of this. Look up, who? Here I come. Uh, oh. It would appear that I am stuck. Have you just eaten honey? I have not just eaten honey. I wonder which way. I always get to where I'm going by walking away from where I have been. Do you? That's the way I do it. Hello, you. Christopher Robin, it's you playing again. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can find Piglet. I've already stayed far too long. Hello, everyone. It's Christopher Robin! So nice to see you all again. Why, thank you. Silly old bear. I was wrong about work. I was wrong about everything, and I've got to get back to my family. Farewell, Christopher Robin. I would have liked it to go on for a while longer. Perhaps it's our turn to save Christopher. <laughs> you must be Madeline. Wait, you're the bearer of my father's drawings. Yes. Do you know where he is? I do. <laughs> Let's bounce! I just saw the most preposterous imposter. Look at him. Digger! Heel! Piglet! If anyone wants to clap, now is the time to do it. Oh, bother. Oh, dear, dear. I don't remember being cheery. <laughs> People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. No, poo, that's not the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I love how the, on the MPA rating, it says in big letters, some action! 
Hmm. Right now, I'm getting a little worried. Um, what exactly do I mean by that? Um, it's so weird because I was expecting a movie, this, a movie like this, to be something like Hook. You know, the Steven Spielberg movie Hook. You know, where we see Peter Pan all grown up. But right now, I'm, I think this is more of a trailer thing in that. It kind of, I think it kind of gave away a little too much. You know, I guess I'm coming off of, you know, the Deadpool trailer is a weird comparison. But hear me out. Like, basically what I mean is that at least in the initial Deadpool trailers, they didn't give away hardly much of the plot. So when I went to go see the movie, and even though, yeah, I knew it was about saving a kid, I didn't know it was going to be a movie about, like, this kid who doesn't initially trust Deadpool or there were going to be things like... Um, the character, um, spoilers, if you haven't seen Deadpool 2, um, the cable was going to be joining x Force. So that's kind of what I mean. I mean, same with Blade Runner 2049, where the trailers gave away a lot of visuals, but it didn't really give away much of the plot. And I kind of felt that, that, you know, they could have given away even just the bits of the, at the beginning of the movie in terms of the idea that, you know, the character Rachel has died and, you know, they had a kid, which... Actually, no, they can't. But they could have, you know, given, you know... I felt they could have given a little couple of, couple of details. But, you know, I kind of like movies like that that give that don't really... Give. This one, you know, not only tells you that Christopher Robin goes back to the 100 Acre Wood, but, you know, he leaves and then the other characters, you know, come out to find him. So... I don't, I don't know. I kind of felt that was a little too much because I thought the trailers were going to focus more on... Um, him coming back to the Hundred Acre Wood. And maybe they, like, it still would have been a little too much, but maybe they could have done a thing where he leaves and they ended on, he is, um, they have to go, like, find him again. You know, they have to go find Christopher Robin back. So, um, so I think that's just kind of more of a trailer thing. But I didn't, you know, expect it. And I'm kind of, I'm really getting a little nervous maybe it is going to go this route that towards the end of the movie, he leads and the climax is they, you know, go out to find him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really hoping it's not because I honestly thought it was going to be kind of like Hook where much of the movie is set, you know, in the place where it took place in childhood, you know. So, yeah, because I, I kind of think that's what's going to happen because... I honestly, I don't really want a movie, you know, a Chris and Robin movie to take place, you know, where much of it is set, you know, very much in his present, you know, where it's set in his grown up life and things like that. I would rather, you know, it be a movie, again, kind of like Hook, where much of it is set in the Hundred Acre Wood and Christopher Robin has to rediscover the child in himself. So that's just kind of my thing. Um, but it is really um, great to see, you know, these characters are coming back. I know it honestly hasn't been that long since we last saw Winnie the Pooh on the screen. Because I know there was that movie in 2010, which I haven't seen. But I heard is decent. But, you know, as for me, you know, I you know, I guess kind of like Christopher Robin. We all left the Hundred Acre Wood when we were really little kids. And now, you know, many of us, you know, I'm 21, going to be 20, 22 on June 10th. You know, now we're now growing up and, you know, we're, you know, rediscovering. I think, you know, people my age were just rediscovering our childhoods because I root because, you know, at least for me, because, you know, in terms of like, you know, how I grew up with Nintendo games, you know, I kind of was discouraged from playing Nintendo games as I got older from like family and even peers were like, ah, Nintendo's for kids. And then when I started going to high school and college, you know, everybody started playing them again. And we're now just not only realizing, you know, we are all rediscovering the child with us, but we're also gaining a new understanding for them. So, yeah. So I think, you know, that's what's going on. But as for the Chris and Robin movie, I think this trailer gave away way too much. I think it just should have left it on, on at the most that, you know, now he's leaving and, you know, they have to come get him back. Kind of symbolizing what the movie, even though that would have given away a lot of the plot, it would have at least given us, you know, the symbolism of this movie in that they're, you know, they're bringing the child back out of Christopher Robin. So I think that's about it. I'm still definitely looking forward to it. Um, 
if I don't get to see it, you know, in theaters, you know, I guess it was always on video and just like with Star Wars The Last Jedi, which I know in that movie, yes, I know there's a lot of people that are saying, oh, they're pandered to SJWs, but in, but I still want to see it for myself. So, yeah, that's about it. I'm definitely looking forward to Christopher Robin. How do you personally feel? Um, are you still excited for this movie? Uh, oh, my God. I mean, even though, yeah, this trailer gave away way too much, I still oh, would, you know, encourage at least giving it a chance. You know, come to your own conclusions. Don't let a trailer trailer define how you feel about a movie. So, and as it says down here, it comes out on August 3rd. And judging by the like meter, which, by the way, Technically, it's a like. I don't think it's ruined the movie for a lot of other people. So, all right, guys, this has been Blood Moon Bobby, and thanks for watching. And if you guys have any um, ideas for videos, please feel free to let me know. Um, down My email address is down in the description. And please feel free to comment. Did you like this trailer? Do you think it gave away too much? Or do you think this was just the right amount? So please let me know, and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, this has been a Blood Moon Bobby video. Please like this video or dislike it, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.